Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. We've already discussed what it means to not covet the goods of your neighbor, but there's one more issue pertaining to this commandment, envy. What is it, and how does it relate to what we've already said about coveting the goods of others? So first off, what is envy? Envy is a capital sin. It refers to the sadness at the sight of another's goods and the immoderate desire to acquire them for oneself, even unjustly, when it wishes grave harm to a neighbor it is a mortal sin. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2539. Now it's important not to misunderstand this. Remember, no involuntary emotion is sinful, so mere sadness and or desire can't be sinful unless we allow ourselves to feel them intentionally. Also notice that envy refers to both of these things, both sadness that someone else has good things and the desire to illicitly obtain them. In other words, envy is essentially the same thing as covetousness, which is why it violates the Tenth Commandment and is therefore a capital sin. That's it. That's all ten of the commandments and their various implications. Obviously, some commandments can be violated in a few other ways. Evil can get pretty creative in terms of how it disguises itself. Still, with these basics in mind, it should be simple to identify sin, even if it isn't always easy to resist it. Next time, what do these commandments really mean for us? How do they affect our relationship with God? Will breaking the commandments hurt our chances for salvation? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.